What's up everyone? Welcome back to Samantha's 140 by 40. I'm Samantha and I'm gonna jump right into it. So last week I was talking about how I'm burnt out on trying to figure out what to eat. I have no idea what kind of things to eat and I'm a picky eater. So I had a bright idea since everybody is acting like AI is the next best thing to Jesus and you can find everything you need there. I decided to go to ChatGPT and ask him what the heck a picky eater like me could eat and put in the air fryer. Now, let me just tell you right off the bat, uh, I am not impressed. The best thing that ChatGPT could come up with for me was some lemon chicken. Now, the original recipe called for chicken thighs, but if you remember, my dietitian recommended that I stray away from chicken thighs and go to chicken breast. So that'll be the only shift that we have in this recipe. But I went ahead, Followed the instructions for how ChatGPT said I should make my lemon chicken in the air fryer and um, I will eat it for my meal prep, whether it's good or bad, no matter what, starting on Monday. So I'm trying to hurry up and get this out to you guys so you can see and I'm going to pop in on a short tomorrow and tell you what it looks like or tastes like. I didn't need too much from the grocery store. I knew I needed to pick up some lemons and I grabbed a little goat cheese crumbles for my cucumber and tomato salads and I had to get some Brussels sprouts for the recipe so that's what I got at Aldi's. Then when I got back home I popped on out to my garden and grabbed some rosemary and some thyme for the recipe and that was that. The recipe for the chicken is pretty simple. You have your um, washed and dried chicken. Then I came in with two tablespoons of olive oil, some lemon juice, about a tablespoon, a teaspoon or so of lemon zest, a teaspoon or so of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, garlic powder, onion powder, dried thyme, dry rosemary, paprika, parsley, and I will keep all of these or put rather all of these ingredients down in the description box below in case you want to try our AI inspired dish. Once you get all of the ingredients in, you're just going to take your tongs and mix them up really well. I um, am tossing in those dried herbs. That's my little nephew trying to help out with the lemons. Now I lined my um, air fryer basket with wax paper because I was all out of parchment paper. Let me tell you, it was at this moment where I was starting to get a little bit worried about what this chicken is going to taste like because they are not looking like super um, seasoned, but I'm just going to trust the process and hope for the best tomorrow. Now we're going to just put them into the air fryer at 400 degrees for 10 minutes total. Halfway through, we're going to flip them over though. Now because AI is not a person, they obviously could not be bothered to give me a recipe for the Brussels sprouts. So I just came in with two tablespoons of olive oil and about a tablespoon or two of the everything but the leftover seasoning from Trader Joe's. And then that goes into the air fryer for 10 minutes at 400 degrees as well. Know what you're thinking. Girl, why you didn't defrost these Brussels sprouts? It's because I forgot and I wasn't going to wait for them to defrost and do all of the things. So this will do. All right, y'all. So tomorrow, come back. Be sure to see what this meal ended up looking like. And I will catch y'all next time. Bye.